And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Give It All Unyielding, our next Meme Tier Monday deck. So basically the thought behind this deck is to give one of your units Unyielding Spirit, have it where they can't take damage or die, and then play Give It All so that you give all of your allies, um, you know, you change the power and health of all your allies and give all allied allied keywords. You give everything else it can't take damage or die. Now after that, that was the original thought. Now after that I realized, wait, that doesn't work because unyielding, like that's not a keyword, that's just granting them something, but that's not, you know, like an actual keyword. So you don't actually give everything else, um, it can't take damage or die. So that's sad. But still, we're gonna play this deck because we can still do a whole bunch of other really cool things. So we do have, um, so, you know, we're going to be playing some challengers, like our, you know, Fiora, Vi, Screeching Dragon, you know, and we can make some very large challengers, you know, like Vi can have a ton of power, um, and it can be tough and everything like that. So we can still, with Give It All, we can still make all of the rest of our allies, make them challengers. So, like, we can still do some cool things. We can make them challengers. If we have Vi in play, they're going to be tough. If we have Screeching Dragon in play, they're going to have Fury. And so, like, that's awesome. They'll all be, like, challengers with Fury. Um, and we also have Egghead Researcher that gets some more dragons that can get us some more Fury things. And then if we have Grizzled Ranger in play, they can have Scout also, right? So we can just have everything in our in play, have like Challenger and Fury and Scout, like where it could attack multiple times and like they, they keep growing every time they kill, every time they, uh, kill things. If a Vi's in play, then they have Tough also, so they make it them even harder to kill. So Give It All should still be really cool in here, even though we don't get to do the spread the can't take damage or die around. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, so we're still gonna try the, both of those. Now we have one judgment in here, just to get them, like where, you know, like we can get a surprise kill with Fiora. Also, Fiora should work well with Give It All. Like if we, if we have a Vi or a Screeching Dragon or something else that has a lot more power and, and or health than what Fiora has, we can use Give It All to grow Fiora. So Fiora can kill enemies a lot easier that's going to be um a nice combo there and of course you know we're going to try to like unyielding spirit fiora but yeah we can get the surprise fiora kill with judgment we could also get surprise vi kill with judgment if you have a leveled up vi and you're attacking with a leveled up vi and if you you know attack with a bunch of stuff they block with a bunch of stuff you can play judgment and that is striking a unit while attacking. And so each thing each thing that you strike with a judgment does five damage to the enemy nexus. So you can get a surprise kill there, or you can even get a surprise level up. Because remember, Vi levels up whenever Vi strikes for 10 plus damage. So even if you have a Vi on defense that's not leveled up, you play a judgment and mow down like three or four units, that can also just level up your Vi because you'll be striking for more than for 10 plus damage. So we have some cool things to go with Judgment, with Vi and Judgment with Fiora. Uh, let's see, and that's that's kind of about it. And like I said, we have the Egghead Researcher in here to get some more dragons for some more Fury and cool things like that. So yeah, we're gonna have Unyielding Spirit, give it all. Uh, should be pretty cool. All right, we're gonna go take it on over to Normal because it's, it's our meme tier deck. We got five eight mana um, fast speed spells that should all be pretty sweet. I guess give it all maybe slow speed, but whatever. <laughs> all right, cool. Lumpy's face says if we get a judgment kill and donate some money. All right, let's get a judgment kill. All right, so we're going to uh, be playing against deep. We're mulliganing one Vi. We're mulligan and give it all to begin with. And I like, do we keep, I guess we keep protege. I'm definitely keeping Vi. Yeah, I guess we keep protege. Protege lines up well against dead bloom wanderer. But so does Fleet Feather Tracker. Uh, now I have Fiora. I wish I would mulligan Protege. No blocks. We want them to keep the 1-1s one -ones in play. Give us well, some food for Fiora. I'm not going to be playing Tracker here. I want to keep the two... I want to save this two spell mana for Fiora. Beauty in the blade. Beauty in the blade. Alright, so if they 
Do they want to play Maokai this turn? Potentially. Yeah, I think they're passing and they want to play Maokai. So the main question is... <clears throat> Fury and Scout? Man, that's awesome with Give It All. <laughs> that could be awesome with Give It All. So I'm going to pass. I don't want to let them play Maokai this turn. There's Give It All. See how handsome I do? One girl wrecking crew. I hope they don't have to play Ruination. I just hope they don't play Ruination. If they do, that's going to be sad. But I'm not going to play around it. It's Meme Tier Monday. We're here to have some fun. We're not here to try to play around Ruination. That's not fun. No, Slayer. I don't own any of those. Please no Ruination. Don't ruin the fun. Don't do it. See, it's, it's probably easier to get four kills with Fiora when Fiora is a 7-4. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Devour doesn't do anything. GG's. <laughs> they will not match. Let's go. Alright, hope we get to do something cool like that again. What do I want to do against Yasuo Swain? I want to get rid of that. And I'm gonna keep the rest. So because they're they're gonna be a recall deck, right? Like Will of Ionia, stuff like that. So, like, Unyielding Spirit, it's not going to be a very good Unyielding Spirit matchup. I think we may need Concerted Strike to be some removal for their champions. Um, these Egghead Researchers should get us some cool dragons. Don't let the fluffy tails it's all to keep them. Mm. Are you passing to me? I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. I'm going to play that. Here's our chance. Yeah. I should have gone sharp side and just killed the Fae Blade Twirler. Yeah, I should have done that. I was thinking, like, save Sharp Sight to, to pair with Fleet Feather Tracker to challenge, like, a Yasuo or something. I probably should have just played it. Who does not know the name yeah, Egghead's good. Yeah, so it just provides value for us, um, gives us, like, these cool things, um, and then it just works really well with Give It All, right? And then, like, Give It All, you know, turns it into an actual threat. Now, who's got the upper hand? Um, you know the spell shield. Give it all does give all would give all of our things spell shield. Try to keep up. I guess I just repose block, and then they stun, and then I single combat. It's probably worth it over just blocking. I think. These, they've used a lot of cards. We have just as many cards in hand as they have. They've kind of wasted a couple of cards, you know, with just, I guess just really the, I guess it's really just the, the five mana card. They just kind of waste it as just a keep me from attacking for a turn card. Scars to prove it. I definitely want to turn this on with Nightfall. Anything for the right call. Can. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Deal two damage. Fair enough. Challenger is a really strong mechanic. Glory 
cannot excuses for me. So how am I going to turn on Nightfall for you, Eclipse Dragon? We're gonna have to figure that out. We're gonna have to figure that out. Yeah, I don't think I really want Daybreak. I have the scars to prove it. Yeah, I can have like the sharp side, then the Eclipse Dragon. Um, if I want to sharp sight my, yeah, sharp sight that thing there, and then challenge. I think that's worth it. They're not close to leveling up Swain, 4 out of 12. Yum. Prince William of Ionia. Alright, removing spell shield. So if we do draw a give it all, they would all be 5-5 five, five, Fury Scout. Oh, we gotta give it all. Oh, I just wanna play it. So these would all be, yeah, so they'd all be 5-5 five, five, Fury Challenger Scout. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Just get two attack steps every turn. No! Opponent hates fun. Oh, that would've been great. They'd have Scout and Fury and Challenger, and they'd all be five fives. No one is promised tomorrow. Is a leaf's only purpose is to a fall. Leaf's only purpose to fall. That's what I said. Can't copy. Here we go. So two cards in hand. I can use Concerted Strike to kill Yasuo, or at least try. I can also play Vi and have Vi challenge. Concerted Strike's basically like the only problem with that is like another deny. But Concerted Strike I can play next turn. Should probably just do that. So this is 10 damage, we're going to force their Yasuo to block something. This may bring out another spell. And hopefully, there we go. Ends the Yasuo and ends the game, 2-0. Unfortunately, they cast an eye on my really cool give it all, but still got the win because I need more leaf, leafy greens. All right, playing some scouts. All right, give it all. Maybe you won't have time. Judgment. Maybe we'll have time. Let's. I think, like, Judgment against Scout seems like that could be a good thing. Oh, especially with a Furious Dragon. A Furious Dragon with a Judgment. That could be pretty good. And it looks like we're just saving Spell Mana for the first two turns. Could play Bright Steel Protector. Nah. Fun fact, carrots are bad for rabbits. I did not know that. I don't know if that's a fun fact, though. That's not fun. Poor rabbits. Eating these carrots, they don't even know, aren't good for them. Uh, so they pass. That's like, repost. Send round. I don't really need to 
get all repostified and stuff. I can do that later. No pray, no pay. I don't like that misfortune. I really don't like that misfortune. Break their spirits and their swords. getting destroyed. Disgrace. Man, it's crazy how, like, the they're like, alright, we're gonna w nerf war chefs to slow down scouts, and then people in scouts are like, alright, we'll just play Blinding Assault instead, and it actually turns out that Blinding Assault is better for our deck. Who knew? Again, repost, I just can't stop. My shield is yours. A symbol worth fighting for. So I'm going to one. Best case scenario. If they play repose, that is. Because, of course, they will have it. Best cards they can have. Yeah, Fleet Feather Tracker is really good. <laughs> Triple Fleet Feather Tracker. Well, okay, I killed the Fleet Feather... I, I guess that was incorrect, right? I killed the Fleet Feather Tracker because I didn't want them to have the Challenger, but then I, I just realized that, yeah, that's a 3-2, and my 2-4 could have Challenge 3-2. So I guess that was wrong. Strength and grace, beauty is the play. Who does not know the name Laurent? Got your back. I demand satisfaction. Okay, so yeah, so it's not bad for them, it just doesn't have as many nutrients as we thought. Or kind of as advertised. Just one card left. Genevieve, why? This judgment was gonna was gonna wreck them. Why does this last card have to be Genevieve? Not only you know, not only pump everything up, but then also have like the Scout Challenger. Yeah, that's that's sad. I think we're dead. I'm trying to think of how we can survive, but I'm not really seeing how we can survive. These woods belong to us. That was a lot better. Well, that's unfortunate. That was a great hand for them. I guess I could see keeping Bright Steel Protector to go along with Fiora, but I don't. I don't think so, because that's going to be like a, a ways down the line. All right, we just get another one anyway. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. I wonder why they passed and didn't attack. Like, what what did they want to do on two mana? Did they want me to play something and then they vile feast and then attack? Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Strike quick on guard. 
What do they want with that team, you know? Yeah, back in the good old days with Unyielding Spirit being burst. Pretty heavy on the sea monsters. Here we go. Grass the Undying is why I can't just play Unyielding Spirit. And like my I my barrier plan doesn't really work with Grass the Undying either. Unless I want to go like Bright Steel Protector challenge, they go Grass the Undying, and then I go Concerted Strike. I think that actually makes sense to do. I guess this doesn't really make sense against... Now, they don't have to Grass the Undying, they can just use a little 2 damage removal spell. You know, Vile Feast, or whatever. Anything like that. Oh, Alright, we need to make sure that it gets the kill. Let's do three and then three. Alright, that worked perfectly. Your level's up. That's number two. We get to challenge here for number three. And I still have a concerted strike for number four. So that actually just worked out perfectly. Good thing we didn't. Unyielding spirit or anything against that devourer. Hey, Snailpo, GG's. Yeah, you got tons and tons of birds. You got me. And yeah, like the Genevieve, oh man. I felt really good about that game until the Genevieve because I had, I had judgment in hand that I was gonna like kill everything. That was my plan. Uh, let's see. I guess I just pass. I think we just pass. Set the hooks. How do they stop Concerted Strike? I guess, like Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, or they vile, or they vile their own thing. I guess it's not really worth it. Just gonna play Dragon. Like they're at eleven. I got all this stuff in play. I have double repost. Yeah, like they were like concerned about the Fiora kill, but we're just gonna get damage kill. Okay, three and one. So I guess this is they who endure. This could be a really cool give it all matchup. All these cards are good for Give It All, if we, you know, if we can get there. Uh, we, we probably need Unyielding Spirit Fiora. Like, that's that's honestly what I probably should be, like, I, I probably shouldn't be keeping, like, Grizzled Ranger and going, trying to, trying to find Unyielding Spirit Fiora. I really don't want to see Curse Keeper Blighted Caretaker, obviously. Just Blighted Caretaker in general is a huge beating. Now I draw you, Flea Feather Tracker. So blocking Callista puts my Fiora down to one health. Such unrefined style. But it's just kind of what we need to do. May have to trade off Fiora for one of these other things. At 
This keeps not looking so good with all of these expensive cards in hand. Okay, so I could repost. Right, let's miss some folks I'm gonna play Grizzled Ranger. I don't really know why they had Callista in the middle. I'm not sure if it really mattered. I could challenge that Callista. I'm obviously not attacking with the Grizzled Ranger and letting their 1-1 one -one kill my Grizzled Ranger. Oh, come on. Blighted Caretaker is busted. I should have challenged Callista. I should have challenged Callista. They grow up so fast. I'm really glad they didn't attack with Callista. If I'm them, I'm, I'm definitely attacking with Callista. Even though I could have blocked with my dragon and just traded with Callista, I could also just challenge and trade with Callista anyway. They're letting me off the hook here. Should have been more damage coming in. Speak for yourself. So whenever they attack with Callista and put in the Ephemeral, and then if I Concerted Strike Callista, I think that both strikes hit the Ephemeral. I don't think it's like the first strike kills the Ephemeral and then the second strike would kill Callista. Obviously that would be that would be really nice if it worked like that, but I don't think it works like that. I think just both strikes happen virtually at the same time. I completely regret not having Fiora challenge Callista last turn, of course. But, at least saved a little bit of life because they didn't end up attacking with the Callista. Oh man, and they had Doomfall in hand? Doom Beast, sorry. They had Doom Beast in hand? Why did they not? Why did they not attack with the Callista? So if they have they who endure, I lose. You're probably just just running into like the same kind of decks, Cabo, but I don't think it's Yeah, I don't think they like Singleton is all ramp. I've heard of people I've heard of people doing well with uh, a lot of aggro in Singleton. Alright, well if we can get Vi and Fiora in play first and then give it all, we could have something really cool going on. If we can get that to work. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Beauty in the blade. That egg, did it move? Playing the Fiora here so I can have Fiora concerted strike. I don't want to concerted strike that, but I gotta I can't let them just draw two, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I can let them draw two, because if they just draw They Who Endure, it's basically me losing. So I think I need to keep them from, from digging into the deck. So if they attack out, I go to two. So I'll block three, two, and two, two. Doom Beast kills me. I have no equal. We draw a concerted strike, we win. Sharp sight. 
So of course Fiora can can challenge the one one spider. And that'll be three out of four kills. Okay, I guess not. Still, that's that's them not going wide against me. I can kill both of those things, but that's good for they who endure. But I guess they who endure is just again they who endure just kills me. Either way. No, I think they were worried. I think that they they don't necessarily have to have they who endure in hand. They may have been just worried about my Fiora getting you know being able to kill a one one. They may have been concerned about that. Yeah, let's level up my. Buys a 10 4. We can turn all of our things into 10 4s. 10 11 mana. Uh, I can't do all three of these. Can't play Egghead Researcher first and then give it all and still have Sharp Side available. No. Yep, they had, had that. Well, you know, like I said, I couldn't beat They Who Endure. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, we're going to play this because it's fun. I guess I should I should sharp sight first before doing that, but it does, obviously it doesn't matter. But I should have just sharp sighted first because that would have been more fun. Um, but that's why I had to play the concerted strike on the hapless aristocrat to try to keep them from drawing this they who endure. Because um, if they could have just gone just a little bit longer without finding it, we would have had this. But another really good close game. Both of our losses. Uh, both of our losses were really close. Our opponents just killed us right before we were going to kill them. Sharp blade, sharp mind. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. So yeah, that was another option. Um, was last turn use sharp side on Fiora. Turn Fiora into four health, then challenge two one, get the third kill with Fiora, and hope and you know leave their other thing alive. Hope to draw a concerted strike. That would have gave me an, an a that would have given me a specific out to exactly they who endure, where I did not leave myself with an out to they who endure. And instead, I just leveled up Vi and then was gonna play give it all and then you know kill you know planning on killing them with all of my ten power things the next turn. I I went with the they don't they please don't draw they who endure plan instead try to dodge it and I just need to work on my dodging skills the turn that I played like Fiora and then concerted strike and held that available maybe if I play like Vi and uh, Flea Feather Tracker there maybe maybe if I just don't ever maybe if I just let them draw the cards and just say you're gonna have they who endure and Try to have Vi plus something kill they who endure with Concerted Strike. That'd be pretty difficult to do though, as we saw it was a 17 17. Blight of Caretaker, pretty awesome. They had, they had a couple of great Blight of Caretakers, and you know, obviously like Bark Beast and um, Curse Keeper and Blight of Caretakers and all that kind of stuff. They, you know, just another really good hand. We, we played against two good, two good decks. They who endure and scouts that had very good hands and killed us right before we were going to kill them. Um, so I was pretty impressed with our deck. I think our deck, I think our deck performed very well. I liked it. Um, pretty impressed with it. Uh, we got to do a bunch of cool things in it. Radi basically, with Screeching Dragon and Vi, we just don't have room for Radiant Guardian. You'd have to, you'd have to like take out one of these to play Radiant Guardian, and um, I, I just think you'd rather have these things. Screeching Dragon was really good for us the, the whole time. So was Vi. They were both great for us, but you really don't want more than six five mana units. So no, I don't think we could really play Radiant Guardian. Um, if if all you're playing against is aggro, and if you want to beat aggro, then you know definitely just play Radiant Guardian. If if you're just you know really concerned about beating aggro. Which, you know, both decks that we lost to, Radiant Guardian would have been good against. But. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Give It All Unyielding. And I'll see you for the next video.